What's up amigos? Today I'm going to show you something that honestly I had not seen before and I wanted to share it with you. Before getting into it, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Okay, let's do this. I have created a person class with three properties. This class also includes a constructor for initialization. Now I have instantiated a new person. Here I wanted to log its properties. Normally we use the properties to get the value of the properties, but this is boring. There is a new way in C -sharp to get the properties that I bet you haven't seen before. It is called object deconstruction. Here we create a topper that consists of first name and last name and we assign the object to it. Now we can change these properties to these new variables. We can go even further and get the age property. Now let's run the application to see if it works. As you can see it is working, but how? Let's get back to a person class cause I have hidden something away from you. In C -sharp, there is a special kind of method that you need to overload if you want to enable object deconstruction. This method is named deconstruct. A deconstruct method returns void and accepts a set of parameters which will fill our tuple variables in the object deconstruction statement. All the parameters are marked with an out keyword. Now that these parameters are marked with out keywords, we have to fill them with our properties. We can do even some operation here. Here we can deconstruct our object into first name and last name or into first name, last name and age as I did here. Also keep in mind never create deconstruct methods that have the same number of parameters because this will create an ambiguity and C -sharp cannot understand which one you want to use. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Until next time, adios amigos 